Hey Sagittarius, welcome to your reading. If you're new, welcome. Please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get all the messages I post each month. And to my lovely loyal subscribers, welcome back. Um, I'm going to do some short videos, so face on again <laughs> because my camera keeps falling. I told you guys I'm between uh, Paris and England at the moment and I forgot my stand um, so I can't really do the overhead view that I usually do. So I do hope you forgive me but hopefully you'll get some messages. Remember to check your moon and rising signs. Okay guys, let's see what's going on with you. We're going to pull some romance angels cards first. Heart to heart conversations jumping out here, Sagittarius. Somebody wants to talk to you. Um, getting in the mood during cancer season, I'm guessing here. Um, you might not be so interested, but they definitely want to talk to you. Being guided, um, seeing signs, uh, being directed towards you, I'm feeling here. Um, let's see. Flirt. <laughs> Get the next one. And this could be the one. So you've already met the romantic partner you seek. This person is seeking you. Um, what can we say? You might actually have moved on to flirting with somebody else here. And they are now coming in for this heart to heart conversation. Um, might be somebody new coming into your life who you're flirting with. Definitely very interested in you. They are seeking you here. Um, I want to communicate something. So let's see what it is they want to communicate here. I hate, I hate to say it. I hate to say it. But um, Seven of Swords. I'm showing the deck like this because, you know, usually you guys can see the cards. And I'm a read that like to show you guys the cards. Um, this can be low self-esteem, especially if you're not in a relationship. If, it, if you're currently in a relationship, this is lies and deception, as we know. Um, or this person giving you low self-esteem, wanting to maybe <clears throat> make you feel down about yourself so that they can do their work on you here. Um, don't let that happen there. Seven of Swords. It might be that you're saying negative things like, I'll never find somebody or there's nobody out there for me. Don't say these negative words. Um, Knight of Pentacles here. It's because it's been a long time coming if you are starting to feel like that. The Swords are about speech and thought. So it is, you might start to be feeling down, irritable during cancer season, which is not surprising. It's a watery um, season, so I'm not surprised. It could be because things have been slow going, maybe even in work and career, that you might start to feel tired, irritable, maybe even lonely, but you will overcome this six of uh, wands there. So you will overcome this feeling of... Uh, I don't feel like it's loneliness. I just feel like you're tired of being alone. But there's these offers coming. Somebody is attracted to you here. Um, it might be that you have trust issues and this is why you're not accepting this offer. Um, the person could have took too long to come back. Is a general reading. I've got a competition running at the moment and that is in uh, the community section of my channel. So you can check that out. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah. So this could very well be you feeling like I don't trust anybody but myself right now and having to stand on your own two feet. That doesn't mean that's wrong. Um, there's a lot of good things coming your way and a lot of good energy, especially for career here, um, even if it's been slow moving. So let's just say, you know, um, you started a YouTube channel and, you know, you didn't get the views yet. It's now coming up. Um, they'll start to improve. This is people watching you, um, maybe even becoming famous, right? Um, with that nine of pentacles, it gives you those extra pentacles you're looking for. So good money energy, but slow in the love field here or some deception and trust issues going on. Eight of wands, there's that flirting card and communication card again. Um, so somebody definitely wants to talk to you here. I feel like they will reach out with the knight of pentacles. Um, you might be a little bit cautious Um not surprised if there was deception going on. Ace of Swords here. Um, it is the breakthrough you've waited for. I'm concerned that, um, you know, it might have took a long time or you might be concerned that it took a long time. But do you see what happened during that time? You grew, you got stronger, Nine of Pentacles here. So um, you see that 
everything for a reason, right? Even the time in separation had a very good reason. I feel like you might be open to this offer if they are honest and uh, having these heart to heart conversations with you. You need complete honesty, especially if you have trust issues, right? You don't want to be dealing with people who are not open or honest. If you have trust issues, it'll drive you insane very quickly. Four of Wands, new beginnings here. Those signs that we, we're seeing is that 11-11. Um, so some of you, if you know who it is you want to be with, um, this is that 11-11 that you're seeing. That, that breakthrough in communication here, this heart-to-heart -heart conversation, what you've waited for. Um, definitely for you guys, this was a huge lesson. This could be a twin flame journey if you are seeing the 11-11, okay? Um, you're now wanting to contact and speak to that person or that person's now wanting to contact and speak to you. Uh, they consider you to be the one. Um, so they're going to come forward with flirty energy, which might be off-putting to you because things are a lot more serious than just flirting, right? There's been a lot of growth happening because of this relationship. Um, so now if you want to talk to them, you don't want to flirt. You want this ace of swords. You need clarity. You need truth. You need a breakthrough in their, the way they communicate, the way they are with themselves, the healing, all of it here. And it's coming. And the eight of wands shows remove, removal of blockages here. So yeah, four of pentacles. Like secretly you never let go or you never gave up hope. And these falls are saying you're on the right track. If you've been doing the work here, no matter how slow it's been going, you're on the right track. Um, the 444 is uh, an angel number saying, hey, look, we see you, we support you, keep going, don't give up. So let's see here. Five of Cups. Um, this person misses you terribly now. I feel like you are no longer in the energy of missing them, but they're definitely missing you here with these cards. Um, I feel like now you've, you're the four of wands and they're a four of pentacles. They kind of feel stuck and they're looking for a way forward. And that's why they'll reach out with these uh, conversations. What has just jumped out here? Um, Justice and five of wands. So that Mars energy, Mars is action packed. So it will get them moving and fighting for you. Wanting to communicate. They're not going to give up trying to reach out and talk to you here. Um, the Justice card is saying you've known each other in a past life, or maybe this is even a karmic partner, but they're definitely now wanting to reach out, to talk to you, and they're going to climb over these hurdles if needed be, right? So if you feel like you're going to put blockages in their way, they'll climb over them. So where there's a will, there's a way. They will try and do anything, talk to your friends, family, or anything to try and get information about you here because they miss you now, Sagittarius. Remember, guys, uh, my email's in the description box, so you can check that out. And I'm running a competition that you can see in the community section. Good luck.